Back here in California, Nancy Reagan called the Reagan Presidential Library the shining city on the hill that her husband Ronald Reagan once spoke of. And it is here atop the hills of Simi Valley, Nancy Reagan will be laid to rest right next to her husband after a funeral today that brought tears and laughter and brought together a broad spectrum of notable faces from a former president, a current and three former first ladies to well-known faces from Hollywood and the media. NBC's Andrea Mitchell attended the funeral and has details. The final farewell drawing political heavyweights and Hollywood stars, like a time capsule back to the 1980s when Ronald Reagan was president, Nancy Reagan right at his side. A woman without whom Ronald Wilson Reagan would never have become the 40th president of the United States or succeeded as well as he did. Representatives of 10 White House families on hand, led by Michelle Obama, President and Mrs. Bush, Caroline Kennedy. The service all planned by Nancy Reagan herself, down to the white peonies, her favorite flower on her casket. She Tributes both funny from her daughter, Patty Davis. I've thought that even God might not have the guts to argue with Nancy Reagan. <laughs> and sweet, our friend Tom Brokaw. So God bless Nancy, Mrs. Ronald Reagan, first lady, and the unlikely friend of a reporter. Thank you, Nancy. Before the service, Hillary Clinton on Reagan's support for stem cell research. It was very brave of her to uh, take a, uh, a political stand on behalf of research that she thought might help uh, prevent or cure Alzheimer's. But above all, what so many celebrated today, the enduring love affair. My parents were two halves of a circle. No one truly crossed the boundary into the space they held as theirs. Ronnie and Nancy, the couple that met in a Hollywood restaurant all those years ago, now together again for eternity. She will once again lay down beside the man who was the love of her life, the one she loved till the end of her days, resting in each other's arms, only each other's arms, till the end of time. As her son Ron said, Nancy Reagan did love a party and she would want today's gathering to be a party, a celebration of her life and her legacy as Ronald Reagan's partner in the White House. Lester. Andrea Mitchell. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.